Hi, it's Aurelius. In this video, you're going to master Canva in just minutes. I'm going to walk you through the basics and also some cool tips and tricks so that you can start designing right away. Okay, to get started, make sure you have a Canva account. Link will be in the description box below. Once in, you'll land on your Canva homepage. Now, because I've already used my Canva account, you'll see recent designs and that's where all your recent designs will be placed and don't get overwhelmed with all the menus and all the options options that you have, there's actually not much that you need to play around on your homepage. The very first thing that you can do to start your first design is to search for a template that you want to start with. You can do that or you can start from scratch. So for instance, if you want to create a presentation, all you need to do is head to the search bar, which is probably going to be your best friend. You want to search for things instead of browsing through things. Let's say you want to search for presentation. You simply search for presentation and usually what's indicated with icons that indicates that Canva has templates related to presentations. Now you'll see differences. You've got 16, 9 and 4, 3. This just shows you the dimensions of the presentation. If we click on this one, the presentation 6, 9, that will take you to the list and the library of presentation templates, as you can see. And from here, you're free to browse through the templates that's listed or you can go here, use the filters, you can choose the style, the theme, and there's also the academic levels and subjects, topics, and also colors if you're looking for a specific color. So let's say we only want green themes, we'll click on apply, and now you'll see presentations based on the green styling. One of the things with Canva is that there is a paid option, they call it Canva Pro and some of the templates you may not be able to use or you will need to pay for a Canva Pro account. It's always indicated anywhere you will see it with a crown icon and that's kind of universal and global within Canva. So you can see here the little crown icon indicating with a pro. But let's go back because I saw something that I like. I like this one here called Minimalist and if you hover over a template that has multiple pages, it will run through this carousel so you can get a preview and sneak peek of what it looks like. If you're happy with the template, click once and this will then give you this customize this template button. So go ahead, if you're happy with it, click on customize. And then from here, it's as simple as clicking any of the elements such as the text, renaming it to anything you want. And with this text specifically, it does go over the box so you'll see it indicated with the purple line. All you need to do is slide the guides right or left, however you want. And moving it is as simple as clicking once on the element and then you'll see that the text also snaps to the center if you just hover over and move your mouse. Same goes for any other text on the template. You may also notice on the left, on the design, you can apply all the 10 layout pages. So we can click on apply and let's just replace all pages for now. And then now you'll see right down the bottom, these are all of the pages that you can scroll and edit. There's also another view where you can click on grid view. This gives you a better picture, a bird's eye view of all the pages. So you can skip to that exact page and see what you've created already. But going straight back to the main page, you can double click it. That'll take you there. And you'll see here page one of 10. Zooming in and out, really easy. But let's say you had a change of heart in terms of the template and the look of it. We can always go back to design Okay, and we'll click on back and go through some of the templates. The templates that they will display is made for the exact dimensions of your canvas, all right? The canvas right here. But if you do not like any of them, you can always just do a search again by clicking and we're gonna search for pink presentation. Let's see what comes up. So now it's filtered by that, or you can very well use the filters once again, choosing a specific color. And let's say we like this one here. We can click that once and we can apply all the layouts, all the pages to the existing, or let's say we only like one of the pages of the template. We'll now click on add page because I don't wanna mess any of the existing pages. So we'll click that. Now we've got a blank canvas and we'll put in, let's say this page here. I like this one. So we'll click once and now it's inserted. So based on this, you can mix and match different templates as you please. Let's now talk about some other features in the editing mode. So on the left, we've got the navigation and the range of tools. We've got elements. We've run through design. That's 
basically all the templates. But going to elements, these are individual elements such as shapes and graphics, and you've got tables and photos and audio, stickers, frames and grids. Let's say you want to add a square here. All you need to do is just click on the square under shapes, or you can see all to see more shapes that you can choose from. Uh, let's say love heart, that'll insert it right away. And from here, you can insert some text. Changing the color of a particular element is as simple as making sure that's selected. And at the top, you've got the toolbar for editing individual elements and text. So let's say this font here, you can change the font as you please, and also the sizing, the text color, bold, italics, underline, and many more. But going back to this element, let's say we wanna change it to, uh, we've got black or we've got going to the color wheel and also choosing whatever color we want. That's another way. You can also search for specific elements. So let's say we want an underline and we can search that. And here are a range of underlines under graphics. So we've got all these doodle styles. We've got straight ones, colored ones. Uh, do note that some of the elements can also be changed in terms of the colors. So let's insert this one. And right there, if you do see the option to change the color, then you can do so then. So we can change it to purple, for instance, put it under here. And as you're dragging and dropping, you will notice the sizing, right? This indicates the pixels. So in this case, it's 30. So that means it's even from this company presentation to minimalist, there's 30 spacing here. And if we go down the bottom, there's also 30 there. So that indicates and shows you that it's all even, not just to the human eye, but also in pixels. Speaking of sizing, there's a way to add guides, kind of like Photoshop. So all you need to do is go to file and then under settings, you've got show rulers and guides. So right there, as I enabled it, you'll see the guides and the measurements. So if you want to create, let's say a guide that you can follow like a ruler, you can simply drag from the ruler Let's say we wanna start everything from here and also from here, then we can do so. So you can go uh, from left and also the top. So horizontal, vertical lines, as you please, you can add as many as you want just to make things all symmetrical, for instance, and you wanna make sure that uh, minimalist starts there, ends there, and also all the other elements, let's say company presentation, you can do so as well. You can clear the guides by simply dragging it out, throwing it away, or you can go here, file, settings, and then we can clear guides. Now under text, these are some pre-made text that you can choose from right here, or you can simply add a heading, a subheading, a body. All these can be edited based on your brand kit. And this is all under brand where you can define your headings and your subheadings and your body. So this way you don't have to constantly search for the right fonts, the right sizing and the colors too, based on your brand. Now under uploads, this is where you can upload your files, but I'll show you a really uh, fast way of uploading your files without having to head to uploads and click on upload files. Let's say you've got an image on your desktop or folder. All you need to do is drag and drop it to the canvas anywhere you want. And then right there, it's inserted. So that way you can work efficiently and quickly. And now I can just enter it or embed it anywhere I like. And speaking of embedding, let's say you have this uh, image, right? But you want this image in front of the image that I just uploaded. All you need to do is right click one of the images, but in this case, I'll just select this image here, right click and I'll go to layers and then I'll bring it forward, okay? So that will bring it a step forward. Whereas if I go layer and then bring to front, that will bring this image all the way to the front, regardless of um, dismissing all the other layers that are actually a uh, higher priority. It's the same with text as well. Let's say we've got this over these two images. If I right click the text, we've got this layer option and then I can send it backward or all the way to the back. So you don't have to keep sending it back and then sending it back 
All you need to do is just send it to back and that will bypass all the other layers and then send it all the way to the back and vice versa. And of course, you can be more productive by taking advantage of Canva's range of keyboard shortcuts. This is on the help center and I'll list and link this page in the description box below so you can get to here. But you can go to the Mac tab or Windows tab based on your system. But if you want to quickly insert, let's say text, all you need to do is press T on your keyboard, rectangle R, line L, circle C. So going back to our canvas, let's say we want to add text quickly, press T. There we go. And this is some text. We've got some text. Let's add a line, pressing L. There we go. We've got a line and let's press a C on our keyboard. Now we've got a circle and also a rectangle. Let's press R on our keyboard and then we've got our rectangle. So the list goes on. We've got basic shortcuts, element shortcuts, video shortcuts, zooming, editing, text, and much more. In Canva, there's a thing called frames. If you head back to elements, I'll just remove this search and scrolling down, you'll see frames right here. Otherwise you can always search it. We'll search for frames and it's usually under suggested. All right, so what I'm gonna do is choose one of the basic shapes let's say uh, we'll keep it simple let's choose the triangle here and now it looks like nothing but what you can do in fact is let's say place it here and I'll go and head to photos where there's a list of uh, stock photos that I'm free to use unless of course it's indicated by pro icon but I'm just going to choose something like this here I'm going to drag and drop it straight to the frame and now you see that it's shaped based on the frame shape that I selected. And this is a cool way to get creative if you wanna do so in your designs. Now let's head back a little because I wanna show you how to create a custom sized design. All you need to do is head to your homepage, create a design, and then you'll see here custom size. If you know the exact dimensions, this is where you enter the width and height in either pixels, inches, millimeters, or centimeters. Pixels is the most common, but let's say we wanna create a thousand by thousand pixel design. Create a new design, click that, and then usually what uh, Canva will suggest is based on the size, the dimensions, and then they'll display a list of templates and designs like these. But of course, you're not obligated to use any of them. If you wanna create one from scratch, you can do so. Now, right here, compared to the presentation that we created, you've got the side to side way of browsing through your pages. Whereas if you create a normal design like this, you've got add page, you can add a page. All right, so you've got different pages. Let's supply a few designs just so we don't, we aren't seeing uh, blank pages here. I'll just click this for that. All right, so this one here, we'll create this. And this one here, we'll just put another uh, demo, right? So we've got three pages, for instance, and let's say you wanna move this page up. All you need to do is look here. There's some tools. Click on up, move up, and we can move up again. Otherwise, you can always go to the grid view where you can simply drag and drop a page to the order that you want. And we can also create a new page here. And instead of creating a page from scratch again, you can always duplicate a template or a page that you want by clicking on duplicate. And there we go, we've got a copy. Sharing and saving your designs is really simple. Look on the top right corner, you can see share and you're given a number of options. You can either share it by looking under people with access and only those who are granted access can access your design or you can have this collaboration link. So other people in your team can collaborate and work on the same project and design. Down the bottom, there's a useful option called template link and this allows you to share a template link. So those who do have the link can essentially create a copy of your template without affecting your primary master copy. And this may be useful if you're thinking about selling Canva designs. There's also an option to share your design with a public view link. So you can simply have Canva host your design. And if you wanna go a little more conventional by downloading your presentation, you can do so by clicking on download and you'll see a number of options uh, depending on the design that you have created. So in this case, we've got a presentation style there it's suggesting a PDF standard, but if you're preparing this for print, for instance, then you may wanna choose PDF print. And because this is a presentation style, you can also export it as a PowerPoint presentation. Some other options, an MP4 video, JPEG, 
images, PNG, SVG, and GIFs. And also note down the bottom, you got select pages. You can specify the pages that you want to export as a PDF document or in your PowerPoint presentation. So we can deselect it and only select, let's say the first three pages. We can do so and then it'll only save pages one to three. Other than that, if you're looking to level up your designs, you may want to consider Canva Pro because it's not only going to give you a range of extra tools, but you're given more assets and more choice of elements, designs, as you saw with the little crown icon. So if you don't want to be limited to just the free ones, the ones that most people use, then you may want to use the Canva Pro templates, as you can see with some of these with the crown icons. And with a Canva Pro account, you can do things like resize. So if you don't want this size specifically, you can specify the size, let's say 1500 by 1000, click on continue. And then what it will do is automatically resize your current design into the specified size. And now you can see the previous design has now been resized to the dimensions that I selected. Other than that, there are other tools. So you've got the ability to draw and squiggle and doodle on page. You've also got app integrations, a range of apps, as you can see. You can also insert charts. And of course, you use Canva's Magic AI by clicking here. We've got Magic Write. So if you want to use the AI text suggestions, then you can do so. It does have limitations unless you're, of course, on a Canva Pro account. And that's how you can quickly and easily get started with Canva. If you found this video helpful, by all means, give this video a thumbs up. In the meantime, I'll leave up a couple of relevant videos for you to watch next one here and one here all related to Canva of course other than that look in the description box below for more thanks so much for watching and do take care